EES, which is pronounced ease, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. In a previous video, we discussed ease functions that you can write in order to organize your code. Functions can contain some set of calculations that must be completed over and over again. Uh, you can debug functions carefully one time and then use them with confidence throughout your programs. Functions operate using assignments rather than equations and therefore they can use logic statements that are not allowed in the main equations window. So as an example, here's a function that returns the area of a rectangle. You give it the width and the height and it computes the area and returns that output. But functions only allow a single output, in this case the area. In some instances it might be necessary to return multiple outputs. So for example, we might want to know both the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. Ease procedures are very much like ease functions except that they allow multiple outputs. So the format of a procedure is shown here. The procedure declarations must appear at the top of the equations window together with any function declarations and they must begin with the keyword procedure. The procedure name here name and the argument list follow on the same line. The argument list is enclosed in parentheses and you can see there's a first set of arguments which are inputs, so input 1, input 2, all the way to input n. These are values that are typically known and they're specified at the time that the procedure is called. The input list is then terminated by a colon and it's followed by the output list. So here output 1, output 2, all the way to output m. The outputs are the values that must be calculated within the body of the procedure. The procedure is terminated by the keyword end. Like functions, the code that is used to write procedures must be composed of assignment statements or logic statements, and Ease will process these statements in exactly the order that you write them. So here let's change our function area to a procedure rectangle that returns both the area and the perimeter. So the inputs are W and H, and I have a colon, and the outputs are the area and the perimeter. Procedures are accessed using the call command. So here you can see the way you would do that. Call, and then the name of the procedure, and then the uh, input and output list. Following the call command, the values of the output variables will be assigned by the procedure. The procedure must be called with the same number of inputs that appear in the procedure declaration statement. The name of the arguments in the calling statement don't have to match the name of the arguments in the procedure declaration, only their order matters. So here, if I want to access our procedure rectangle, I would put call rectangle, and then uh, 2 and 4 would be the width and the, and the height, and then my output list is area and perimeter. And when I hit solve then, you can see I've, I've got the area and the perimeter of this rectangle that's 2 by 4. It's not actually necessary to provide variables for all of the outputs. So for example, if I only want the area and I don't want the perimeter, I could leave the second variable out as I'm doing here. You know that I, I do need the appropriate number of list separators uh, in, the, in the statement here. So in the English system, uh, I would use commas. In the European system, I would use semicolons. But they have to have the right number of spots here for output variables. The arguments for procedures can be constant as they are here. They could also be string variables, numerical variables, or even algebraic expressions. So for example, I could have a variable w equal 2, and I could call my procedure with uh, w and then 2 times w, and it would, it would operate just fine. Just as with functions, the procedure has its own local workspace, so statements within this procedure can't refer to variables that aren't passed to the procedure as inputs or are previously defined within the procedure itself. Um, the one exception being variables that are defined to be global using the dollar common directive. Procedures can refer to other procedures or functions, but they can't call themselves. Uh, procedures cannot call a module, but they can call subprograms in ease. Um, these program units, modules, and subprograms uh, are described in chapter 10 of Mastering Ease. Just as with functions, after execution, you will see a tab in the solutions window that shows the variables in the main equations window, but also another tab that shows the workspace for the procedure, in this case the procedure rectangle. 
So a procedure is normally written to accept specified input values and then return the corresponding output values. But it's also possible to call the procedure from uh, the equations window or a subprogram or a module uh, by supplying it with some of the output vo values and then have it calculate one or more of the input values. So for example, I can have ease provide the width and height of a rectangle that has a specified area and perimeter by specifying the output values area and perimeter and then having uh, the input values uh, unspecified and uh, this is possible because the way that ease interprets these procedures is as a set of equations and each equation relates the inputs to one of the individual outputs so it parses a procedure in that way and then it attempts to solve the resulting set of equations iteratively just like it would any uh, set of equations if you're calling a procedure from within a function or from within another procedure though, uh, the procedure then is interpreted as a set of assignment statements, one for each output. And in this case, all of the inputs must be set and the procedure can only be used to calculate the outputs. Like ease functions, procedures can be saved separately and used in other ease programs. The most convenient way to do this is to save the procedure as a library file as detailed in chapter 11 of Mastering Ease. Ease supports, supports both internal and external procedures. Internal procedures are entered directly at the top of the equations window, as described here. Uh, external procedures uh, can be written in other higher level languages, such as C or Pascal or Fortran, and then called from Ease. And the call statement that you'd use to access those procedures are the same for both internal and external procedures. Chapter 19 of Mastering Ease provides detailed instructions for writing and using external functions and procedures. So this is one of a series of tutorials that is meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. If you'd like more information about Ease, obtain the software, or to access more of these tutorials, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained uh, from the FChart software website.